Welcome back, everybody. Today is the 19th of June, and we're doing an unboxing video. Let's get right into it. Today is Fantasis. I had said earlier that we will be doing this Beyblade as soon as it gets shipped to my house. And what do you know? It got shipped to my house. So yeah, Fantasis P2. The last of the weirdly unmentionable Beyblades. It has no spot anywhere in the anime, just some random released Beyblade. So yeah, with that being said, here are the parts. We have Phantasis P2, the D22, and Edge. I'm not too sure what this D22 disc is. It's the first time I've seen this disc. Uh, but yeah, so let's get on to unboxing it. And oh, here's the stats. And it is a stamina bank. Let's unbox it. Instructions, don't care about those. Sorry, my hand itched. All right, so let's unbox this bad boy real quick. The light launcher. The disc, Fantasis, and Edge. All right, let's check to see if we got a poster for with this one. No, no poster. That's a shame. Let's get the rubber band off the light launcher real quick. And get the trash out of the stadium. We're gonna move these Beyblade parts over here so I can pick up these little locking, these little secure tabs. And there we go. Now that we've cleaned out the stadium, let's go over the parts individually. All right, light launcher for everybody who doesn't know. This launcher, garbage. He's enough set. <laughs> You'll get better launchers with older, uh, more of the newer uh, Hasbro products, or you can just go online and buy a string launcher. All right, so we have Edge. It's edge. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's edge. We have this new disc, the P disc. I wonder if this is supposed to be like power. Maybe it's the power disc. Ooh, and we got a four star. Very nice. So four four star for this P disc. It's very cool. Very interesting. I'm wondering how the. Honestly, I'm seeing. I'm wondering how this will function. And then we got Phantasis. Very cool, very nice. I like the little phantom heads just kind of on the outer edge of the, of the lair. It would have been cool if they would have done a little bit more with this right here. But other than that, it's not too bad looking. And I like what they did with the center too. Here's the QR code. Kind of interesting that they would call, they would name a bay Phantasis and it would be a stamina bay. And the slopes don't feel too, too terrible. All right, three, two, one. All right, let's give it a bump test. I'm gonna bring the stadium back slightly. Bump test. All right, so now let's get into our first we have all of the unmentionable Beyblades. We have uh, Diomedes, Orpheus, Guyanin, Istros, Phantasis, Hyrus, Eviprio, Tyros, Surtur, and Fingriff. So, with that being said, the first, and we're gonna throw it in here. 
and we're just gonna shake up the bag. We're gonna shake up the bag and whatever bay we grab out of here first will be the first bay blade. Two face Phantasmus. First Beyblade to fight Phantasmus. Oh no, you guys, it's a stamina type battle right out the gate. We have Doom, uh, Diomedes versus Phantasmus. All right. Three, two, one. All right, Diomedes versus Phantasmus. Who's going to win? Diomedes with a burst finish, surprisingly, right out the gate. Very nice. All right, Phantasmus is already down a point. Well, down a loss, I should say. Fair enough. Move this ever so slightly this way, so then that way I can move the stadium a little more centered on the table. All right, so Diomedes got a burst finish on Phantasmus. Very nicely done. And what I'm going to do next, too, is we're just going to... Sorry, there's just some stuff in my in the stadium. So we're going to tip it over real quick, grab, dump it out, and reset. All right, so... Get this hair out of there real quick. The next bay, two face off against Phantasmus. So we're going to take up the bag, go right in, I'm not looking, is Fangriff. There we go. Fangriff has Boost and Jaggy. Well, Fangriff F2 has Boost and Jaggy. All right, three, two, one. Both days ring out finish simultaneously. Very nicely done. I think that's, we haven't had one of those in a minute. The simultaneous ring out finish. All right, round two, three, two, one. Fangriff starting out with a good couple solid rail rushes. <laughs> and Fangriff with a survivor finish. Very nicely done. That is a third loss. Let's shake up the bag again. I'll do a good shake on that. Next up is Orpheus. All right. Three, two, one. Let her go. I mislaunched. My finger didn't grab that uh, launcher, the ripcord right. Three, two, one. There we go. We're gonna make sure these bays didn't come apart real quick in the bag. Okay, we're still good. So, and I know some of you guys might be thinking, oh, but wow, how come you don't have Ifrit in the Unmentional Battle? Well, because in Beyblade Burst Quad Drive, we got Ifrit. So that's why Ifrit did not make the cut for this battle. Because while, yes, it went unmentionable for the longest time, it finally got a main release in Quad Drive. So, Phantasmus loses, loses to Orpheus. Phantasmus is not doing too great, you guys. All right. Who's next? Shake up the bag really well. Go in. Next up is Tyros. All right, three, two, one. Tiro jumping around there for a minute. Was very nice. All right. Well, Phantasmus get its first win. I feel like this power disc, if the name is power, if not, just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I feel like the disc would be good for a defense type. All right, so Phantasmus loses to Tayros. Alrighty. Uh, 
Shake the bag up. Go in, come out. Guyanin is our next big matchup. All right. Three, two, one. And I think that was actually Fantasas, but it looked more like a draw. So we're going to go again. Three, two, one. For Guyana and being a balance type, it sure acts more like a stamina type. And Fantasis takes its first victory. Very nice. All right, guys. We have four bays left. Shake up that bag. Coming out to play is Istros. Our boy Istros. Another stamina battle. Three, two, one. Trying to launch him at an angle to get some sort of movement going there, you guys. And Fantasmas with a burst finish. Very nice. Okay, so that's two wins. Very nicely done on Fantasmas' part. Take up that bag, we're going in. And a Vibrio. Three, two, one. Viprio with a survivor finish. All right. We're going to shake up this bag really good. Open it up. And Surter. Very nice. Load up these launchers. Three, two, one. Surter got some airtime right there. Escape. It's trying. There we go. It still escaped. A huge loss in stamina. Oh, we got a draw on our hands. Very nice. Three, two, one. There we go. This is a good matchup now. That's still a draw. Three, two, one. Now they want to get some momentum. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Give me one second here. Both bays decided they were going to launch in the pocket. All right. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. 
So we're trying to use those rail rushes to its advantage, but it's not doing so great. And Fantasis with a third win. Very nice. All right, you guys. Hyrus. Three, two, one. Both bays have missed each other so far. No con. Well, we got our first contact. And Fantasis with its second burst finish. Very nice. Well, you guys, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but because we're under 20 minutes, our last battle of the day is Ifrit. With the weird little wheel driver. Three, two, one. I figured why not, we'll throw that one in. <coughs> and Efrit scores a survivor finish. All right, so there's one last battle I wanna do. We've got Phantasis, which is a stamina. And then we've got Guyanin, which is a balance. Then we got Hyrus, which is a defense. And then we have our boy Fangriff, which is an attack type. We're gonna do a four-way battle real quick. Try and do it. We'll see how well this works out. They haven't really been working out, but let, let's let's just let's give it a shot and see what happens. I don't want to throw another stamina in there. The stadium's not big enough to do that. All right. Three, two, one. Ah, crap. All right. See, and this is what I was talking about right here. Just, there's always a couple bays that don't cooperate. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. There we go. The four way battle. Fangriff out first. Can Fantasis hold up? Ooh, very nice. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad. In a four-way typing battle, Fantasis doesn't do too bad. It managed to, I think if I remember right, it managed to burst Fangriff, and Guyanin and Fantasis wound up bur bursting Hyrus. And as Hyrus was bursting, the parts ran into them both, and they both stamina out at the same time so i would say it's not too bad um overall though i gotta put hyrus unfortunately in um no because i got a third where's the third was it guy in in yeah i think it was guy in in but I'd have to put Hyrus, I mean, Fantasis more in the F tier, just due to the fact that it lost six, six rounds out of, out of 10. So we got four losses. Yeah, definitely, definitely would put it more or less in the low tier bracket for the unmentionables. Um, overall, though, I think it's a pretty cool looking bay. I'm not going to dig on that. I just think the one thing that's probably holding it back is it's Achilles heel. Is this P disc is really heavy, you guys. And with that P disc being heavy, I don't think it allows Edge to have the stamina Edge is supposed to have. Here's that QR code again for you guys. And with that being said, this is going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, three, two, one. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Have a great day, everyone.